Hello there folks, Norman Junction here, presenting another episode in building the RMS Olympic slash Titanic. And today's episode, I think we're up to part 15, we are going to be doing frame 104 to 124, heading towards the back of the stern as we continue our journey, as I continue to gaze here at the Titanic. But here, we're looking at the Olympic. Okay, so we are getting now towards the end. So today's episode, I say I'll be doing frame number 104 to 124, going up the side of the decks, but we will be doing the stern well deck as well, and one or two details as well, but let's get going. So the keel is the same as before, going from the previous section, three rows of smooth stone, and then it involves on each section a gap of three, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six blocks up. Well, seventh at the top. Join them all up and make a gap of two. And obviously mark each one as you go along. So we're up to 104 there. And like I say in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different. When you get to a frame 124, just add an extra concrete block at the top. Because I say the frame is now gonna shape upwards here. Because as I say, we're coming towards the propeller shafts. And the rear end of the stern goes a little higher as well. All right, so let's begin. So we'll start off with a frame 104, get your smooth stone, and make your first block, actually, actually sorry, start again. We'll start with the brick, deep, oh, I can't get my words out tonight, deep slate brick stairs. Okay, and get it along, and move it going right across the bottom. Same as before in the previous video, but this section will be starting to rise shortly. So there we go, so we'll put it to the end there then, so we'll continue that trend. Okay, so go back to frame 104, Get your smooth stone, not this block, oops, this block. In fact, as well, get your crimson planks. I'll put a row, might as well put it on now. All the way up to this section here. There you go, just fill it in there. Right, so I actually do the frames now. So, for, yep, so this is frame 104 to start off with. You're going out by nine, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine and then you do a block of three a line of three i should say and then a line of four one two three four and then you're going to be doing a one two three four five rows of three so that's one two three four and a five and then three lots of two same as before as the previous videos, replace the N1 with a sea lantern. There we go. And as well as before, from the top one, join it to the center. And from this block here, join it towards the outer frame. Also, I want to say a big thank you for to my new subscribers joining the channel. Thank you for joining. Uh, as I say, it does mean a lot to me. My content channel continues to grow, going over 400 subscribers now. And that is a big bonus for me. Thank you very much, you. Your support is very much appreciated. I hope I continue to stay to help me uh, well, finish this project off. Right, so let's go on to frame now 105. Once again, from the bottom, it is a nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But now it is now seven lots of three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then three lots of two. One, two, three. Place that one with sea lantern. Okay, so I'll just leave that there now. I'll wait, I'll do a jump cut. There's no point in me showing you to, you know, basically join a line up because you pretty much know it by now. But like I say, oh, that'll be my last one I'm doing towards the jump cut. So let's continue on. Uh, so it's frame 106, so we need to do an 8. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 7 lots of 3. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, wait one second, 6, 7. And then 3 lots of 2 again. 1, 2, 3. And replace the out one with sea lantern. Okay, so that is now up to 107. So at the bottom here, so 107, it is the seven going outwards, funny enough. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you need to do seven lots of three again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three lots of two. One, 
two, three. And place the outer one with a sea lantern as well. Okay, so now onto 108. Now 108 is exactly the same as 107, so it's seven going outwards. Okay, and then it's seven lots of three again. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three lots of two again. And replace it with a sea lantern. Okay, so now up to a hundred and nine. This time it's a six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And you need to do seven lots of three again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you guessed it, three lots of two. And place the outer block with a sea lantern. There we go. Okay, so we're now up to 110. 110 is exactly the same as 109. So I'll do a line of six, seven lots of three. There we go. And then three lots of two with a sea lantern at the end. There you go. So we're now up to 111. So on 111, you need to be going out by five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And you need to do three lots or seven lots of three again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three lots of two, replacing with the sea lantern. There we go. And now up to 112 which is exactly the same as the one before. So going out by five, and then you add seven lots of three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, followed by three lots of two. And place the outer one with a sea lantern. There we go. And now the next one, 113. Okay, so that's 113 here. You need to go out by four. So that's one, two, three, four. Oh, it's not. That's a five. That's a five. Uh, there you go. There's a four. And once again, it's seven lots of three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Followed by three lots of two. But replace it with one, two. There we go. Okay, so the next one is 114. On 114, it's exactly the same as one frame four, guys. So it's one, two, three, four. Seven lots of three. Four, five, six, seven. And then three lots of two. So it's one, two, three. Place it with a sea lantern. There we go. Right, so on to 115. There we go. 115 is basically a three and then another seven lots of three so you're doing eight threes in total guys so it's two three four five six seven eight there we go and then three lots of two again okay one two three and of course replace it with sea lantern on the outside there you go so it's taking a nice shape so we're getting there. We're getting there, folks. I think this has been on the go for 10 months now. So I do appreciate everybody waiting, but it is a big build. It's a big project. And it's also life also gets in the way, but that can't be helped. So let's move on. So on to 100 and... Well, let me start again. Hang on. Right, 116. Right, so we need to do eight lots of three again. So that's one, two, three, four, five six seven eight there we go and followed by three lots of two there we go and so it's 117 so this time it's just a two and now you do three lots seven lots of three again so that's one two three four five six seven there we go and then once again it's another three lots of two now this is where it's going to get a little little tricky so i will explain it quite clearly to my best ability 
Right, so 118. So it's going just going out by one. And now you need to do a three. Okay, and then you just need to do another six. So it's seven threes again. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, followed by Yep. Three lots of two. Followed by the sea lantern. There we go. Okay, so we're now up to 119. Now, in this case, on 119, yep, we need to go. And rather than the yellow block, what I'll do, I'll make a different colour. Put it on a grey there. We need to go up by one. So on this one, we're going out by two. Okay. And then what you need to do next is go out by six lots of three. So it's one, two, three. Four, five, six. There we go. And then three lots of two. One, two, three. And place it with a sea lantern. There we go. Right, so now on to 120. Right, on this one, 120, you're going up by one again. I'll replace that one. And you can do any colour you like, it just helps me. Uh, 120, and you're going out by one. And this time you're doing six lots of three again. So rather than a two, it's a one. So we're going a bit more steep into the hole. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Six lots of three. And then you need to do three lots of two. So it's one, two, three. And get a sea lantern and we'll place it on the outside. There we go. Because ah, this is the finishing line. But again, it's a very complicated structure, the stern. Right, so now on to 121. Now 121, you need to go up by two, so it's this one here. There we go. Get your smooth stone. And then you need to go out by two. And then you need to go five lots of three. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then once again, you name it folks. Three lots of two. There we go. Sea lantern there. So you can see by the structure here, it starts sweeping towards the centre of the keel. Right. So now on to 122. For that, we're working the bingo. Right. So once again, you're up by two. Put the grey block there. And this time you go out by one. And this time it is another five lots of three again. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, and then three lots of two again with the sea lantern. So let's pull that there, pull that there, there we go. Right, now on to the last two frames. So we're on to 123 now, folks. So, but this time you need to go up by three. So I'll just go away blocks. That's one, two, three. Place that one. Okay. And you go up by two. And this time you need to go out by four lots of three so it's one two three four and then it's three lots of two again but replace it with a sea lantern there we go now on to 124 okay you need to go up by four so it's one two three four put gray block there okay and so what we need to do now is go out by one and then you need to do four lots of three so that's one two three that's one that's one second one third one fourth one and then you need to do three lots of two again so it's one two three and place this one with the sea lens but as you see there the whole as I say, it starts to curve up nicely towards the back because it's getting more into the centre. So this whole frame is curving towards basically the rudder and the rear propellers. Right, so that's the bottom of the tank, well, the tank top, as we call it, towards the keel. Now, as I said before in the previous videos, to do your, to do this crimson planks, go on the outside of the smooth stone. You basically go on the outside of the smooth stone all the way there like this. So I'll do one section here for you. There we go. And once you get on the edge done, every time you see a 90 degree, just put us there. There you 
go. So it goes on like that. So I'll do this section here just to give people a little bit of confidence in how to do it. So as I say, it'll be there. There. There you go. You're just filling out the inside. The outside the smooth stone. Okay, so that's one goes there, 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 one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and done. Okay, so what I'll do now, I'll start filling the centers to show how I do it. So, I always look towards the center of the ship every time I fill it in. So every time I see a block, I pull it across, block, pull it across, block, pull it across. Okay, so this section here, okay, you'll see a block here, smooth stone, pull it right across. Okay, a block, a smooth stone there, pull it right across. If I can pull it, get across, there we go. Pull, fill that in, fill that in, and fill that in. Okay, and then well, as you go along, just pull in the stairs there as you go along. So I'll, I'll continue doing this. There we go, one, two, three. Because obviously this is not going to match because it's going inward. There we go. Okay, so I'll be on there. I'll just finish it off here. So every time you see the smooth stone, just pull outwards. Don't go that way. Because if you do, it'll be going sticking right outward. So you always got to look towards the centre of the ship. So if you're working on the on the um, port side, you're looking that way. So I say if you're doing the same side, you'll be looking that way. Okay. And while so if you when you were doing the bow, you had to go like basically all that way. <laughs> okay. So let's get this finished off. So there's two there, two there, two there. Two there, two there, and two there, and two there, and two there, and two there. And just get your stairs. And every time you see a 90 degree arch, just put your stairs there. There you go. So basically, it's done. So it's shaping quite nicely. So I'm going to do a quick jump cut now, guys, as I normally do, just because I don't want the videos that long. And I will be back in just a moment. Okay, folks, there you go. That's the underbelly of these frames from 104 to 124 complete, and it should look like this. So you can see at the back here, the stern is starting to get like that Y-shaped look. So let's go on to the fr rib frames now. Now, from frames 104 to 124, which is the entire length, every rib frame from the tank top, basically the whole red area, is the same. So I'll do it from here in the middle, so I'll give you a good example of it. So you start on the crimson plank, and you go, as I was saying before guys, it's four up by four, one, two, three, four, and then add a two at the top. The next one is also a four, two, three, four, two at the top, then it's a three, two at the top, and then another three, two at the top, and finish with a four, and a sea lantern, which I don't have. <laughs> Get one in now. There you go, and that goes to the left of the block, or to the right of the block, depends how you're looking at it, but it's on the outside. There you go. So the next one up is just three lots of four, but they are all together. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and the sea lantern goes on the top. And the next section to finish off is a four, a four, and a five. Two. Ooh. Sorry, I've got one on there. Four, four, and a five. Three, four. Oh. Sea lantern goes on the outside again. And what you can do on this one is basically do this is the bottom of G Jack, G Jack, G for George, and you can pull it in from the center here as well. There we go. And also put a sign post, see what number it is. So I don't know which number I've just done here, folks. So I'll put a sea lantern there for now. There we go. So I'll do another side for you. So we start on the crimson flag just opposite the sea lantern. So it's one, two, three, four. Oh, then do a two. One, two, three, four. Do a two at the top. Then it's a three. Then do a two at the top and move that one. A three. Two at the top. Move that one. And a four. Sea lantern goes on the outside. And then it's four, three lots of four. Oh, and a four. And a sea lantern goes at the top. And then you do a section of a four four and a five there you go sea lantern on the outside and a pull it in towards the center and 
join it up to the centre of the hole. Or centre of the keel. There we go. So, as before folks, uh, it's all the same all the way across. I'm not going to do every one, so there's no point. So it'll be another jump cut. But like I say, on the outside, put your crimson planks blocks. There we go. But every time you come to a sea lantern, put a red concrete block. All the way up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's do this one. There we go. Okay, let's get a red concrete block as well. Should have been ready for that. There you go. One there and one there. One there and one there. One, oh, not there, there. <laughs> okay, and then what you could do next, you can start joining the blocks up. But also as well, you can also put on your crimson stairs. Everywhere there's a 90 degrees, put a crimson stairs. Uh, one there, one there, one there. So I say, if you've got any questions about the build, feel free to send me a message. Or anything at all like say if you want to use it in a downloadable project or build it yourself in your own youtube videos go right ahead i don't mind at all all i ask is if you just give a name and a mention okay uh, right so after that so get your crimson oh well we could do the inside as well so all the inside is once again your quartz blocks i say when you come to a sea lantern you need to put a different color which i went for the i went for the light gray or was it dark grey? It was dark grey, sorry. There we go. Keep going all the way to the top. So you're getting the idea. There we go. Grey concrete one there. Oh, and one there. And that's it. So like I say, if you get some your quartz stairs. There is a 90 degrees. Just fill it in. And that's the same process for every single frame from frame numbers 104 to 124. So it is a repeated process. We should be used to it by now. <laughs> and like I say, on the outside, just start filling in your crimson planks. Like that, like that. And when you're done, and that you can do the stairs as well so yeah it's like that and on the inside though when you're doing your gray concrete light gray basically like this you can fill it in and also when there's a line there there we go but like i say the bottom let's get the number again one two three four five six seven eight nine they're going to be orange rather than gray Okay, it's just the cosmetics of the design. Alright folks, so I'm going to do another jump cut now, so I'll be back, thanks to the marvellous world of editing, in a second. Right folks, so this is how it looks after completing the outer shell and the inner shell of under the sea, level, sea line, or the water line, as I say. Uh, it's all completed. Like I say, the bottom nine blocks should be orange concrete, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the rest are light grey. Okay, so we're now on to G-Deck now. Now, best thing about G-Deck, it's very simple, and they're all the same. It's F-Deck, that's the, diff the difficult bit. So, the next bit is 1, 2, 3, 4, then 1, 2, 3, 4, then a 1, 2, 3, 4, and the sea lantern goes on the top. Okay, so, once again, I'll do another one. So, it's... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and now one, two, three, four, and a sea lantern on the top. And of course, as well, head towards the center. So you get the center of the keel again, center, center line of the ship. And so, this time we'll put a sea lantern because eventually. When we start doing the floors and everything like that, we're going to start losing light, so we might as well put as many as we down as we can now. And if you want to go along, we'll place these yellow concrete blocks around the entire length of the ship and all the decks, by all means, please go ahead. Okay, so 
once again, get your smooth stone, connect the sea lanterns, and like I say, always work looking way in towards the centre of the ship. And once you've done that, on the outside, get grey concrete, go across the line here, whenever you see a sea lantern, and of course, get a black terracotta, work your way up. So I'll just do these two here before I move on to F deck. Okay, and then start filling it in. There we go. Xbox controller is still playing up. Miracle, it works on that top actually, it's pretty good. There you go. There you go, so it should look like that. Oh, we'll do this one as well, might as well. Over right here. Like I say, guys, if you've got any questions about the builds, this build in particular, feel free and send me a message. Okay. Okay, now on the inside. Okay. And it's just all like grey concrete you're filling in. But of course, don't forget your blocks of quartz as well. There we go. This one. Might as well do this one. Okay, there we go. And of course, on this section here, we can just leave that there. Because I think we have to fill it in. Losing the plot tonight. Yeah. So. Right, once you see the inside here, rather than smooth stone, you can just do is like grey concrete. It looks a bit nice from the inside. There we go. Uh, so, okay, so light grey concrete. Fill in the interior. There you go, so it looks like this. And don't forget, quartz stairs, whenever you see a 90 degree angle, just fill it in. It just makes it look nicer. Right, so we're going to do another jump cut again, folks. Because I say, there's no point doing me at all, so I might as well save time on the video. And we're going to move on to F Tech in a moment. Well, there you go, folks. That is the completion of G Deck. G for George. Now we're going to on to F Deck, and this is when things get a little interesting. So let's begin. So we're going to head to frame over 104, and onto the Sea Lantern. You need to get your smooth stone, and you need to go up by three. So this is frame number 104. So go up by three, and then it's up by two, and then it's up by four, two, three, four, and then it's up by three. And then it's up by two, and the sea lantern goes on the top. There we go. Now on to 105, it's up by three again. One, two, three, and up by two, and up by four, and then it's up by three, and it's up by two, and it's up by a single one up there. There goes the sea lantern just there. Okay. Now on to 105, uh, no, 105, 106. Just bear one second, I get, make a marker because I don't lose track of where I am. 106. So you're going up by three. Here we go. So that's one, two, three. And then you're going up by two. One, two. And then you're going up by two again. Which is that one there. And then you're going two lots of three. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. And then it's up by two. Up by a single one. And the sea lantern's there. Okay. So on to 107, it's going up by two lots of three again. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you need a single two going upwards. And then you need two lots of three, two, three, one, two, three. And then you need a single two going up. Sea lantern that goes on the left, not on the top, on the left. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, so on to the next one which is 108 you go going up by three so that's one two three and then you go up by four one two three four and then you're going up by two one two and then you're doing two lots of three one two three one two two three and the sea lantern goes to the left or if you're facing the stern to the right but it's on the outside 
Okay, so that's 108 done. So we're now to 109. So just bear with me. Let's just double, double check my notes. So you're going up by three. And then you're going up by four. One, two, three, four. Oops, excuse me. And then it's two lots of two. One, two. One, two. And then it's a three. One, two, three. Then a one to the side of it. And the sea lantern goes on the top. There we go. Now that is 109 done, so we're now to 110. So the first one again is a three. So that's one, two, three. Followed by a four. One, two, three, four. Followed by another three. And followed by a two. And then followed by a three. Followed by a sea lantern on the outside. Not on the top, but on the outside. So we'll keep them flush. Okay, so that's 110 done. So now it's on 111. So we're going up by three. One, two, three. And then we're going up by four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going up by three. Two, three. Now you're going up by one, which is about there. And then you're going up by two to the side of it here. So that's one, two. And then you're going up by three. One, two, three, and the sea lantern is going towards the side. Okay, so remember that, folks. You're going up by what three, and there's a one, then you're going up by two. Okay, so it's like a inverted L shape or part of it, half a T. Right, after that analogy, on to the next one. So it's 112. So we're going up by three. One, two, three, and then we're going up by four. One, two, three, four, and then we're going up by three. One two three now same again it's a one and then we're going up by two one two and then you're going up by three one two three the sea lanterns on the outside okay so that's 112 complete so we're now on 113 so which is up by three one two three and then it's a four one two three four then it's a three one two three and then it's a one on the outside and then we're going up by two one two and then we're going up by three one two three and then we're going a sea lantern on the outside okay right so that is 113 done so now it's 114 so we're going up by three one two three then a four one two three four and then we're going up by three one two three and then a one to the side again up by two and then up by three one two three sea lantern on the outside there we go okay so after that one that's 114 done let me just double check i am on to right path so it should be 115 yep there we go 115 now so 115 we're going up by three one two three and then we're going up by another three. One, two, three. And then we're going up by two. One, two. And then two again. Followed by another two. Followed by a three. One, two, three. And then followed by a single one to the left here. And the sea lantern goes on the top. Like that. Okay, so it's up by three. Single to the left. And then up by one. Right, so that is 115 done now, 116. So we're going up by three. One, two, three. And then we're going up by four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going up by two. One, two. And followed by another two. And then a three. One, two, three. And then a one on the left hand side. And the sea lantern on the top. So that is 116 done. So now 117. Okay, there we go. 117 is going up by three. One, two, three. Followed by another three. One, two, three. Followed by two lots of two. And then a three. One, two, three. Then a two. Two. And then a one to the left. And the sea lantern goes on the top. There we go. Right, so on to 118. So first of all, it is a three. So it's one, two, oh. one, two, three. Followed by another three. One, two, three. Followed by, it's a one. 
two, three, four lots of twos. That's one, two, three, four. Okay, then it's a three, two, three, and the C Latin goes to the left on the outside. So we're still all flush. Okay, now on 219, you're going up by one, two, three, four. Four lots of two. So that's one, two, three, four. And that's followed by two lots of three. There we go. And it's followed by two lots of two. C lantern goes on the outside. There we go. And that is followed by 120. So we're going up by two, followed by number two. And this time we've got a one to the left, followed by up by a two, followed by another two, followed by a three, followed by a two, followed by a three, followed by a two, and the C lantern is on the left hand side. Or like I said before, as you're facing that way, it's the right, but it's on the outside. Okie dokie. So that is 120 done, so we're now on 121. So we're nearly there. So we're going up by three. So that's one, two, three. And you're going up by two. And then it's a single to the left. And then you're going up by two. And followed by another two. Followed by a three. One, two, three. Followed by three lots of two. So that's one two, three, and the sea lantern is on the outside. There we go. Marvellous. So on to 122 now, so you're going up by three. So that's one, two, three, followed by a two, one, two, followed by a one on the outside. And then you're going up by two at least five times. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then you're going up by three. One, two, three. Followed by a C lantern on the outside. There we go. So remember that's five lots of twos there going upwards. Okay. And a three at the end. Right, so on to 123. So first of all, we start off with another three. So that's one, two, three. Followed by a two followed by a one to the outside and you're going to go up in seven lots of two so that's one two three four five six seven and you just finish with a sea lantern on the outside okay and to finish off with 124 the last one is going up by three so don't forget it's a, the frames going upwards here by one so it'll be one at the top at the end so we're going up by three. One, two, three. And then followed by a two. One, two. And a one to the left. Followed by seven lots of two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a C lantern is towards the outside. There we go. So that is now F deck now complete. So you can see the shape is slowly taking shape along the stern because the stern has a unique shape on the ship. So once again, folks, like I say, you should know the drill by now. When you go to the top, just pull your frames right across and towards the center as well. Mark a sea lantern or a yellow concrete block every third, well, fourth block along actually. So, so pull these right across. go come on <laughs> all right so as I say we need to do a one two three and then a sea lantern there and a sea lantern there to accompany this height change in the frames there we go so like I say I won't do it all because I say we know the drill bar now so the same as before folks on the inside get your box of quartz and just fill it nicely I'll just do another demo here very quickly and then you get your quartz stairs every time you see a 90 degree angle you just put the block One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. there we go so it looks like that 
and then on the outside your black terracotta same as before one two 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 it's a shame there's no black stairs terracotta really otherwise the uh, main frame of the whole black area will be a lot more nicer but never mind and also get your grey concrete grey concrete grey concrete and I'll see you can join it up when you can so here's another way of looking just looking downwards I suppose like this if you're not too certain there you go and this bit here will be one two three there like that Right folks, so I'll do another jump cut, jump cut, oh, jump cut, <laughs> I will be going on to E-Deck, e for Echo, so I'll be back in a moment again folks. Right folks, there we go, that is F-Deck now complete, now we're going on to E-Deck, e for Echo, so we'll go back to frame 104, and you need to go up by the single one, followed by a four, one, two, three, four. And then it's two lots of five, so that's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, sea lantern on the outside. There we go. So let's go on to a hundred and five. So we're going up by two, then two lots of four, one, two, three, four, three, four, and a five. One, two, three, four, five. Sea lantern on the outside. There you go. Okay, now on to 106, and it's a single 2, followed by a 5, followed by a 3, followed by a 5, and the sea lance is on the outside. Okay, now on to 107, it is up by 2, followed by a 4, followed by a 3, followed by a 6. See, lands in on the outside. So we're on to 108. So that'll be one single going up, then a three, one, two, three, followed by a four, two, three, four, followed by a three, and then followed by a five, one, two, oh, three, four, five. Uh, see, lantern on the outside again. Right, so on to 109, we are going up by one followed by a two and then we've got a three and a four and then you need and then it'll be a three followed by a four and the sea lantern is on the outside there you go so on to 110 you need two lots of two followed by a three followed by a four Followed by two lots of three. And the sea lantern is on the outside. There we go. Uh, right, so on to 111. Frame 111. So you're going up by two lots of two. So that's one, two. And then you need a three. And then you need a four. And then you need two lots of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sea lantern on the outside. So now on to frame 112, which is right here. And it's two lots of two, followed by a three, followed by a four, and then it's two lots of three. With the sea lantern on the outside. Now to 113. We need a two lots of two. So that's one, two, and then a three, and then a four. And then two lots of three, the sea lantern on the outside. So that's 113 dots. So now to 114. Okay, 114. So you're going up by two lots of two. So that's one, two, and then it's a three. Followed by a four, two, three, four, and then to finish that off, you need two lots of three. With the sea lantern on the outside. There we go. Now on to 115. So you need two lots. Well, I'll check notes here, folks. Right, it's two lots of two. So that's one, two, followed by a three. Followed by a four, 
and then a two lot so three sea lantern on the outside okay so to a frame 116 now it's a single one and then going up by three followed by uh, two and then another three and then a four and then a three and then a one single one there the sea lantern goes on the top there we go right let's check out my notes here folks the same thing's correct i think i might miss something here what frame are we on right so it's 115 116 it's gonna go through 116 again folks so it's up by a one yep up by a three up by a two up by a three up by a four up by a three up by a one and see lantern top yeah it's fine phew <laughs> right so on to 117 so we're going up by one again Wait one second go so we're not by one God. oh sorry my notepad fell on the floor bear me one second okay so let's double check i'm on 117 okay okay there we go yep 117 oh come on right 117 folks so we're going up by a one and then we're going up by three Ooh. By a three and then by a two and then a three followed by a four followed by a three followed by a single one and the sea lantern goes on the top there we go it's a little flush so 118 now once again it's a single one followed by i think it's one two three yep yeah, four that's a three so that's one two three four and then by a four one two three four and the sea lantern goes to the left there we go so 119 now so we're going up by two this time and then a three followed by a two and then another three followed by a four and to finish off, it's a three with a sea lantern on the outside. There we go. Okay. And on to 120 now. So I'll check on 20, 20, 1, 2, 2, 3. Yep, 120. So 120, we're going up by two. And then it's a three. Three. Followed by a two. Followed by a three. Followed by a four followed by a three and the sea lantern towards the outside there we go so 121 now we need two lots of two that's one two and two lots of three one two three one two three and it's a two followed by a four uh, four followed by a single one the sea lantern goes on top there we go so 122 now so it's a single one followed by a two followed by a three followed by a two and then three lots of three one two three one two three one two three and then it's a single and then a sea lantern on top and then we're on to 123, so it's three lots of two. One, two, three. And then two lots of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, followed by a two. Followed by a four. One, two, three, four. And the sea lantern goes on the outside, just there. There we go. And to follow off, to finish off with on E deck, it's the last one, 124, and we're going up by one, which is already done here. Uh, on the sea lantern, got a one, and then it's a two, followed by a three, 
and then it's a 2, followed by a 3, and then it's followed by a 2, and then two lots of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. The sea lantern goes on the outside. So that is E deck now complete. Now, I've seen this before, guys. Uh, whenever you see a sea lantern, get your grey concrete, put it on top. Obviously, with this section here, it's on the sea lantern here, so it'll be a three there. Okay. Just make your way across here's a nice long stretch bit here, so I'll just go right across. Uh, same as here. And there. As I said before folks, uh, inside quartz with light grey concrete, I mean I'll just show you the previous deck below, or if I just should have shown before. Uh, like I say, you will see some smooth stone coming through, you won't be able to fill it all in or hide it, so that would have to do for now. But as I said before folks, get your smooth stone. Pull it across to make the other frame, other deck, same as before, same same routine. Uh, but like I say, you can see the nice shape coming along with the stern now, so we are getting there. So we're now going on to D deck, so like I say, I will be back as soon as you do uh, terracotta and inside quartz and light grey. So I'll be back in a moment. Right, well there you go folks, that is now E deck complete with the outside completed as well. Bit hard to tell because it's black terracotta and there's not much light down here it's getting really dark but that is e deck complete i'll show the inside as well so we'll move on to d deck so we'll start with frame 104 again so we're going up by four so that's one two three four followed by five one two three four five Followed by a four, one, two, three, four. Sea lantern goes on the top. And the next one is a 105. It is a four again. One, two, three, four. Followed by a five. One, two, three, four, five. Followed by a four. And the sea lantern goes on top. Okay, so that's 106 now. So once again, it's the same. It's up by four. One, two, three, four. Followed by five. And followed by four. And sea lantern on the top. So 107 now. Uh, same as before. It is a 4. Followed by a 5. Followed by a 4. Sea lantern on top. And that's 107 completed. Now we're 108. Same as before. It's a 4. 1, 2, 3. Ah, oh, control's playing up. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then a 5. And then a four going upwards. Okay, going up vertically. Sea lantern at the top. There we go. So we're on to frame now 109. Just check if I am on 109. I always like to keep track of, track of things. Yep, 109. So I'm going up two decks. Okay, so frame 109 now is a four by a five followed by a four and the sea lantern is on top and now it's 110 so it would be a four one two three one two three four and followed by a five one two three four five and followed by a four and the sea lantern goes on top so that's 111 done so now it's 112 it is, once again, it's the same. So it's one, two, three, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Followed by a four. And the sea lantern goes on top. So we'll make sure that was 112. Do, 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 do. Uh, no, that was 111, but it's still the same. Four, five, four, sea lantern on top. Let's go back to where we were. So that's 111, so now we're on 112. Okay, so 112 is the same again. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, and a 5, followed by a 4, sea lantern on top. Okay, so on to 113 now. Uh, same as before, 4, 5, 4. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and sea lantern goes on the top. 
Okay, so that's 113 done. Now I just want to double check I am on 114. Not a good track record so far on this bit. Yep, 114. This is where it changes. So, on the sea lantern, you just want to put one down. Okay? Oh, sorry, no, it's, uh, it's actually four. One, two, three, four. Four there. The one goes on the inside here. Okay, so that's one and a four. Okay? And next stage is a five. One, two, three, four, five. Followed by a four. One, two, three, four. Sea lantern on top. Okay, now same as before. We're going up by... So that's 115, so now it's going up by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Single 1 on the inside here. And then it's a 6 and a 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's not 5, it's 6. Followed by a 3. Sea Lantern goes on the top. So that's 115 done. So now 116 is up by 2. And then a 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Followed by a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And followed by a 2. And the sea lantern is on top. There we go. Right, so 117 now. So it's going up by 2. Followed by a 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Followed by a 6. 3, 4, 5, 6. Followed by a 2. And the sea lantern goes on top. There we go. So that's 117 complete. Now 118. It is up to two lots of five, four, five, followed by a two. So it's two, five, five, two. And the sea lantern goes on top. So I want to check these sea lanterns as well. Yep, they're all pretty much all the same. All right, so 119 now. So you're going up by three. One, two, three, followed by a four. Followed by five. One, two, three, four, five. So three, four, five, and then a two, and the sea lantern goes on top. So we're all still flush at the minute, looking pretty good. Okay, so five to go. So 120 now. You're going up vertically, three. Followed by a four. One, two, three, four. Followed by five. One, two, three, four, five. Followed by two, and the sea lantern is on top. Okay, there we go. Right, next stage. Now, it's a single here now, definitely. So, single on the sea lantern. And then two lots of four. So, that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then followed by five. One, two, three, four, five. Followed by a single one. And the sea lantern goes on top of the single one. Just like that. So, it's looking quite straight there, you see. Right, next section is 122 so it's one at the bottom followed by a four one two three four followed by another four one two three four and it's followed by five one two three four five single on the outside sea lantern on top okie dokie so the next stage is a hundred and twenty three you're going up by two, followed by a three, followed by a four, followed by a five, and then a single one on the outside, and the sea lantern goes on top of the single. Okay, now the last one is 124, frame 124. So this will be the end of deck D because there's no further decks above it apart from the start of the poop deck there. Because this is the well deck where the cargo holes for the stern will be. So he's up by two, one, two on the sea lantern, followed by three lots of four. One, two, three, and a single one on the outside, followed by the sea lantern on top of the single. And there we go, that is deck D now complete. Now, same as before, uh, fill the insides. So I'll just do this one, or quartz. There we go. And every time you see the sea lantern, you get the grey concrete block. Same on the other side. Grey concrete block. So we'll just pull across here as well for you. There we go. And also black terracotta. On the outside. There we go. 
go. That's that filled in. And of course, on the inside, when you see a 90 degree angle on the quartz, put a set of stairs on it to give it a nice frame shape. Except for, of course, when you reach the top here. And as before, you need to join it up towards the centre. So I'll join it up from here. Diddly do, diddly do, diddly do. And join it up from here. There we go. So we're just coming up to one final bit of the video now. Which is some details which we have to add to the stern to this section. There we go. So join those up. One. Hang on. One, two, three. Sea lantern. I put one on the top there. And join it up from here. So you can see on the Titanic there, you can see that little lot where my pointer is. That's slightly slanted upwards. That's what we're doing here. There we go. Joined up there. So as before, folks, put your sea lanterns or yellow concrete box, whatever you want to put in. I would personally put the lanterns because actually when you're doing the other side, and then we start doing the layers of the decks, you'll find that it's going to get darker because we're blocking out the sunlight. So as much light as possible, really. Okay, so I'll, tell, I'll, just, I'll just go along here to show you how I do it. Let's make sure all the sea lanterns are here. Yeah, so it'll end here, basically. So like I said before, you always point towards the centre of the ship when you're laying these. There we go. So that goes about there. There we go. That's that bit done there. Or we join up here. There we go. That'll make sense. Eventually. Right, so I'm going to do another jump cut now, folks. So I'll be back for the final part of this part. <laughs> Episode. <laughs> right, folks. So that's the completion of D-Deck. D for David. Right, on to the final section of the video now. We're going to start the poop deck. So what you need to do is get your smooth stone. You need to find frame 117, which is this one here. On the sea lantern, you need to go up by four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then you go outward. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the sea lantern goes on top. So it's a 4 and it's an 8. And that's the same for all the way up to frame 121. So that'd be, uh, I'll just put the 4s down first. So that's 18, 19, 20, 21. Yep, 121. Let's double check. I'll have to check now. <laughs> right. Okay, so on the outside of all of them, they need an 8. So I'll just pull this one all the way up here. There we go. Okay. Okay, sea lantern on the top of each one of them. There we go. Right, so 122 now. So... On the sea lantern, it's up by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then out by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I mean out by one and up by seven. And the sea lantern goes on the top. There you go. And once again, it is a five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So this is frame 123. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, five. Six, seven. Sea lantern on the top. And the final one is the same again. So up by five. One, two, three, four, five. Then up by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, excuse me. And the sea lantern on the top. So that is the beginning of the poop deck. Okay, but we're not going to fill it in just yet. So what else you need to do uh, once again is get your smooth stone. Pull it right across towards the center. There we go. Just want to make sure that's correct. Just bear me one second. There we go. Put a sea lantern there to make, mark the centre. And once again, just pull the frames across. I'll do the same over here. 
Like I say, if you've got any questions about the bill, folks, feel free to send me a message. I'll answer what questions I can. Okay, but I do appreciate you all sticking with me. I know I do take some time in between videos, but hectic family lifestyle. Uh, big changes that have happened this year, personally. But your support is very much appreciated. But I do intend to get this all done as much as I can before the year is out. Right. Okay, so continue adding the frames on the roof. The, the beam's going straight across. Now what we're going to do next is basically because we're going to do the yellow line and the terracotta as well. <sighs> Come on. Do, 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 do. There's two more to go. Da, da, da. There we go. Right, okay, so the next stage is get your yellow concrete. Okay, there we go. It's problem there for now. I don't know why I got lime. Because <laughs> I'm filming this late at night, you see, so fatigue starting to set in now. Will the yellow concrete go on top of this dark grey concrete here? Make sure it goes all the way across. Even on the poop deck. There we go. Should, should look like that. And what you need to do next is get your black terracotta or whatever. You could be using black concrete if you wish. But this is roughly about three high. So let's fill this all in. There we go. So let's get this right across. And there's a couple more things I want to do before the end of the video as well. So that's one, two, there we go. But first of all, let's just get this all on. Ah, there we go. And the third line. There you go. So you just need to put this. Actually, sorry, I forgot this one goes out a bit. There you go. So that goes on front of the frame. So that one goes on there. Remove that one, pull it across. And that one goes up there. So that should be like that. Right, marvellous. So now what you need to get you now is a block of quartz. And from where frame 117 is, you just pull it straight to the top and pull it right across. Whatever it's across to the sea lantern. Okay. Except for this one that goes there. I think it is. It'll come back to me eventually. So on each frame on here. Oh yeah, I do apologize. No, it's uh it's that one. It's definitely that one. It'll come back to me. There you go. And then you just start filling the outer skin here. Let's quit this quickly filled in. I mean, the thing I like to do is put the skin on the each individual beam here. So all you've left filling in is the rectangles, the gaps. Okay, I'll come back to that one in a minute. Okay, so what I want to do as well before we finish the video is you need to come to this section here. Now I've already marked it. Where the grey line is, you need to put a quartz stairs. So underneath it, you need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven blocks. And then it's six, one, two, three, four, four, five, six. And then a five, three, four, five, and then a three. Sorry, four, four, a three, a two, and a one. And fill in the rest with quartz stairs. Going up with that. Ah, there you go. So that should link up with this frame here, which is 100. Yep. 
So that is dead level with 100. Okay. Now what you need to do next is get your quartz slabs, which I'll just find in a moment. There we go. Just go along here. Around there. Now, when we come up to the poop section, the stern, basically this block here, which I just removed, put back on, put a quartz stairs directly beneath it, and it's just the same as the other side. So one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a six, and then a five, four, three, two, one. There you go. You get the idea. <laughs> And then put your quartz stairs in. There we go. And then get your quartz slabs. And join it all up. So it's basically the uh, well deck section of the ship. So there you go. Should show a little of that. Excellent. So I'll just finish this section here. The quartz slabs. Right, there you go, all section of the stern there filled in. Now on the inside, set for frame 117, leave this one here blank. What I would do, just put a light concrete line down there, because that is the, I think it's the third class section where the general meat rooms were. And this section here will be the hatch, but I'll do that on another video. I'll also fill out some more detail of the well deck. All this section here can be blocks of quartz again, same as before. Just fill it all in. So it's two, and so forth, and so forth. Now, I say I can finish that, and obviously as well on this line, before you hit to the top, to this section here, get grey concrete, go right across. There you go, and also get your light grey concrete and fill in the inside here. There you go. So you're getting the idea. Right. And get quarter stairs. And whenever you see a 90 degree angle. Just fill it on there. But don't do it on 170. Because this is going to be a wall here. Okay. So. You know what. I'll finish off the video here now folks. Because obviously. I think you can all do it. But there is something I do need you all to do. And you're probably going to hate me for this. But. Um. It's a bit of a job, but it has to be done. Now, you can either use quartz slabs or smooth stones. Now, I personally would use smooth quartz slabs. Now, in between each frame from the entire section of shit, I'm talking about every deck. What you need to do is this. From the top half, start filling them all in. Yep, filling them all in. And it's going to take a long time. I don't know, like I say, you guys do world edits or put another thing a bit faster. Well, I can do it, but each section has to be filled in. This is basically the reason for that. I'll come over to the Titanic in a minute and show you. Is it's, it's like giving the ship a roof. But on top of this will be a deck. I'll show you what we're going to do here. Just a quick example. I use birch slabs for my decks. I don't know, I think it just looks nicer, but like I said, I'll just use this as an example. So you'll be covering all that. So you won't see the beams. You won't see the smooth quartz slabs. Uh, so it'll look like that. Okay? But underneath, it'll look like that. So it's like a roof of a ship, obviously. <laughs> but I'll show you what I've done in the meantime, in the spare time. I have done the boat deck and a deck. This is how it looks at the minute. So I'll start from the stern here. There you go. 
Uh, like I say, I'm replacing the yellow concrete blocks with sea lanterns because, like I say, once we do both sides, it's going to get dark in there. And do every deck because we are going to be removing stuff, but it's just easy to get it over and done with now. And also, do you don't have to do un near the keel, that's fine because you won't see it. But in the boiler rooms and the car and the engine rooms, do put some slabs down there. Okay, like that. And that's all the way the length of the ship. So I'm sorry, folks, it is going to take a long time to do, but it is a job that needed doing. But as the build goes, we'll be removing some because obviously we need to put the funnels in, uh, the, all the boiler rooms, the, the grand staircase, everything. I've just come along to the bow. Oh, there's one more thing I needed to do as well. If you just bear with me, I'll end the video there. Uh, this forward staircase. Now, I've decided that a there's roughly one, two, one, two, three, four. There's five wood panels in the middle. Now, it's, it's just too big in width. So, what I want you to do is start it from the center, leave the middle free, but remove these. So it's going to be a free breast ride and basically all the railings move them all in one. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done on the Titanic. Oh, did you do? As you can see here, I've made it through right. I think it just looks a bit nicer. I mean, if you want to leave it there, that's fine. But it's a bit narrower and nicer with a three because I think a five width or well, a seven width, including the railings, is just too big. So, on that note, I'm going to leave the build here, folks. So, like I say, next time we probably see each other, I have all these filled in. But it's going to take a long time, especially doing it by hand. Uh, but it's got to be done. So, once again, folks, thank you for all your support. Uh, if you want to use this project, uh, the, well, this build and uh, downloadable project, or so your own YouTube videos, your own build, feel free to copy it and paste it, whatever you like to do with it. And all I ask for is just for a little bit of credit, but like I say, thank you for bear with me, guys. Uh, like I say, it has been going for a long time now, this build, but, but I am dedicated to finishing it. But you just got to bear with me because I do have a family to take care of. All right, so I'll leave there on the lovely Titanic ship. So this once again, this is Norman Junction. Thanks once again for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like or even a dislike if you didn't like it. Or if you learned something new, feel free to share it with your friends and your family. And maybe give me a subscribe. It does help the channel. But I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.